Bacon is considered to be one of the, the, the high caliber artists of the moment. One of the reasons for that is because he produced relatively little work in his lifetime. He subjected his, his, his work to a very stringent self-editing process and destroy, destroyed a lot of the canvases that he, he wasn't happy with. They're collected by all the great institutions around the world and it's becoming harder and harder now to find a great bacon. So this will certainly generate a lot of interest when it comes under the hammer on, on Wednesday night. It's a painting from 1969 called Study of a Nude with Figure in a Mirror. 1969 is considered to be the pinnacle of one of Bacon's greatest moments. And what I find so fascinating about this piece is that we know Bacon for his triptychs, but here you have all the narrative, all the drama of a triptych reduced into a single panel portrait. Warhol was an artist who, throughout his entire career, used his own face as a way of documenting his own time, from the great self-portraits in the early 60s through to the self-portraits in 66. Then there was a gap of some 20 years until he made this series. Interestingly, the, the collector who put this triptych together um, secured, secured the final canvas to make the triptych on the eve of Andy Warhol's death. There has been a lot of interest, um, and for good reason. The, there were six made for the exhibition at, at Doffey Gallery, of, of which these are three. The others have been sold separately, so this is the last chance to acquire all three. And I think quite importantly, these are in the white, red and blue of the, of the Stars and Stripes. We're expecting them to reach somewhere in the region of £10 million. Well, Banksy's art started in the streets, and so his imagery tended to be streets orientated. But at a certain point, he started to move from the streets into the art galleries, and so his, his subject matter changed. He's produced a number of works called Corrupt Oils, where he takes genuine works of art and defaces them with his, his usual stenciling. Here we see an instantly legible, recognizable image of the Mona Lisa, um, corrupted in, in, in Banksy's typical way. It's very hard to predict where they will go. Uh, they're, re they're estimated in the region of 30, 40, 50,000 pounds. But if previous uh, examples are anything to go by, they could reach in excess of 100,000 pounds. This is a painting by uh, the Chinese artist Zhang Xiaogang. It's part of his most iconic series, and it's actually the largest work of its kind that's ever been offered at auction. Zhang Xiaogang is an artist who grew up um, in the 1960s in China at the time of the Cultural Revolution. That's his family background, and that's what inspires the, the paintings that he produces today. It's such a rare thing, particularly on this scale, that it has generated a lot of interest so far. Again, it's the biggest one of its kind. It's beautifully painted. There are a number of major collectors now looking, actively seeking out his work, um, and also Chinese museums.